Scarlett Johansson and Joseph Gordon-Levitt brought their comedy Don John to the Toronto International Film Festival, where they discussed playing a couple of Guidos from New Jersey. The maintenance takes a lot of maintenance to look that good, you know. Um, a lot of self-tanner, got to get the nails filled, you know, got to make sure the girl's blown out. If I was going to write something myself, I wanted to really challenge myself and be like, what, what would I not normally be? And, you know, this kind of womanizing Don Juan, too, who's like 12 pounds heavier than me and, and you know, behaves the way he does. It just made me laugh, the idea of me getting to play that, so I stuck with it. Out in LA, Rose Byrne and Patrick Wilson gave fans a thrill before premiering Insidious Chapter 2. Elsewhere, co-stars Simon Pegg, Alice Eve, and John Cho were on hand for the Star Trek Into Darkness DVD release party. She's the hardest working woman in show business. She goes by the name of Janelle Monet, representing the Wonderland crew. Welcome onto the stage, let's go! Janelle Monet teamed up with Target to celebrate the release of her second album, The Electric Lady. I got the title because I'm a visual artist and I paint, and I paint and sing at the same time. And so I was doing a lot of touring and painting and singing, and I was drawing the silhouette of this woman, of this female, of this female silhouette, every night. Cheryl Crow was also on the promotional trail for a new album. The singer stopped by The Late Show with David Letterman to perform a track from Feels Like Home. That's the latest. Join us tomorrow for more celebrity sightings.